Hey, don't forget, it is official now. I'm going to be teaching at Bling Bling Jam, the virtual balloon convention Bling Bling Jam on March 21st, 22nd and 23rd. I don't know exactly the exact time, but there's going to be um, lots of balloon twisters, you know, giving balloon classes of course uh, but i'm so happy i'm gonna be one of those teachers for the first time i'm gonna be teaching at a balloon convention which is wow so cool right so i just want to let you know you should go and be part of this balloon convention because the design and the technique i'm gonna be teaching it's something that i haven't teach yet in any of my videos on my youtube channel because it have to be something special. So it's a way uh, that you're going to be learning and kind of like a technique that you can repeat and make it for different designs. Okay, so that's going to be the cool part. And I think you're going to enjoy it a lot. Don't forget, March. So the good thing is you can always go to the website and you will find all the information. It's going to be March 21st, 22nd and 23rd. This year, 2022. So uh, get there, you know, and and enjoy it. And now, at this moment, enjoy the tutorial <laughs> that I'm going to show you right now. Hey, everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design, it's dedicated. And thank you to Sherry. Sherry, thank you so much. Thank you always for collaborating with this channel. I appreciate it. And I'm so happy you like the, the past design that is right there. You see it, the corner all the way up. Well. Uh, I know these days I've been making very elaborate designs, probably this is an advanced level, but I think all of you, if you've been following this channel since the beginning, that I think is almost three years ago, uh, you can understand, you know, we have to keep going. Uh, if you are new in this channel, check out my first videos. Well, that was also very elaborate, but in between, I have also designs for beginners. So don't be scared. If you are looking for a cool design, you have to understand you have to also learn cool techniques new stuff you know all the time but uh this is the cool part after already watching these videos you will notice it that uh the techniques you know i'm using are repeating and repeating so now it's just play with your imagination play with what you have learned and also you know there's also ways to make something very simple and cute especially if you have a talent with your Sharpies or with your markers. In my case, I'm more a twister, you know, so the Sharpie time, it's kind of, I try to make it as simple as possible. I'm going to show you the design. It's, you know, if you are watching this video, what is the design? But I'm going to show you and I'm going to turn it around so you can see all the details. Probably lots of you are going to be able just to make it without a tutorial. And that's something good. Because that's, that means you are probably going up in a level and balloon twisting. So, ta -da -da -da, this is a design. Yep, it's a representation of Harry Potter. That's the idea. Look, it had a scarf, you see? <laughs> and this design, now, uh, you see, uh, he has darker hair now, but black is that tunic. So if you want to make it it's perfect, probably you need a darker brown for the hair or black too but i want you to see the details about the hair so look at that hair this is the design and this technique we made it before for many other designs the, the part on the back is 260 the part on the front i play with 160 and this is the comex so the difference is obvious right so now what else here this type of clothes this type of clothing that you're going to learn today it's also great for doctors, for a nurse, maybe for more for a doctor, for science, uh, scientists, or also for the friends of all these, uh, this guy, Harry Potter has his friend, his, his girlfriend, you know, those people, they wear the same type of uh, outfit and they represent a school. So this is the other thing. You see the logo or what is Gil, Gifrin, right? Gifrin, well, the school that he attends, <laughs> his group of people, I don't know. It's very complicated, as the logo, but there is a lot of one that it can be easy. And I made it this way, just the G that represents Griffin. I think that's his school, um, his teams, his group. So you just can make it into this. I already a long time ago told you one inch uh, sticker dots can help you, you know, to make things like this details. 
you can also print it you know if you want to be more fancy but you can always take it and put it there the thing is this can be an extra detail for your design and a sticker and that's it now what else can be part of this his outfit usually and this is the thing you see and sometimes it's a little of, of a studying or looking around on google because i'm not an expert on harry potter no i read only the first book and that's it i know it's not not my thing but uh he also have a magic wand and the, the broom and the broom he wears it i think more with his other outfit that is kind of more reddish tunic so but this is the broom so we're gonna also make that broom that is very easy and this is a cool way to make a broom from harry potter i'm gonna show you the pictures are on google pam pam you see it's good when you see a picture you see mm, i can make that type of cartoon into balloons that's gonna help me so you use it that's the cool tool for balloon twisters and probably a lot of other artists probably it's google google especially if you don't know much about the character specific characters you know details and you always choose your details so i'm going straight from feet all the way you know simple i don't complicate with the feet the shoes the pants and this technique there's little details this is 160 we're gonna try it with 260 to see if there is it looks better this is 160 just tough somewhere uh, look at that face we made it before when we made other character from the moving canto this type of face with the nose there it's not glue it's all balloons latex and the trick of the racing bean so that's something really cool if you are new we use a lot of that technique because it makes your designs look super cool now what do i think uh the back i just you see went fast but you can always cover it with a black you know and when you see this gray 260 it's just like a four finger bubble and so you can grab two one gray and the other black and it can be covering the back very easy you will see we're gonna do it i just want you to let you know the techniques are really cool especially if you practice so even if you don't like a character i'm glad you're watching this video because it's also the the, the class that this balloon tutorials are giving you a technique you know giving you a class in a technique that you can use for other designs and that's the cool part about all these past videos we kind of using same techniques picking some from one design and another design and made something like looks like this so that's something really cool but you need those tools techniques and for example i see you start asking requests don't expect me to make all your requests okay i just sometimes like to do whatever i feel at the moment whatever i feel and and it's understandable right <laughs> i hope you understand that um the other thing is i tend to talk a lot and i wish i could just go faster but i feel after all these years making balloon tutorials i want to express also what you you know your comments i want to express how i feel and the design how i made it because that's i think that is the moment that you can um probably learn more that moment that is that you can create with all the techniques you learn your way to make a design and that's the moment that you're probably going to enjoy more balloon twisting um you know if you can be better than me better you see that's going to be like, for me at least you know that's how i feel if you're better than me that's going to be you know something that's going to make you feel good so good because at the end, you know why I'm having this YouTube channel. If it's not for sharing and see that you're doing. Now, you can always share with me on my Instagram, whatever you make from this channel. If you saw a, uh, a tutorial and you made it, you please tag me. That also makes me so happy to see that you are making the tutorials, the designs that I'm, I'm showing in this channel. Uh, let's now go in. Because I was thinking this time, and then in the comments, you tell me if you like this idea. It's we're going to make, because it's black and you can use here like three balloons black it's going to be confusing that's why i'm going to make it different colors now the design you're going to have there one side is going to be probably this guy and probably another side is going to be the guy that we're going to make with different colors so you can see you know and understand that way you don't get confused because i know black is also not a hard color to see you know through the videos and anyway let's do this are you ready okay we're gonna start with the body what do you think let's start with the body and if you want to make a doctor this is a cool body to make a scientist 
you know, a professor as a cool body. Now let's go. I'm gonna just because I have it here orange. This body we made it many times. It's just it's gonna have the tunic, so very 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 cool. Let's do this. Inflate it. The balloons all probably around six finger tail. You're gonna start making one shoe. Twist, doo -doo 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 -doo. Locked pinch with this. Remember, there is always many ways to make the same design. So this, this is the way I'm doing it. And even myself, it's not like a rule. This is the way Cecilia makes it. No, because I can start something from the head. I can start making the hips. You know, it's, it's, a, it's something that you entertain yourself. I decide I want to make the shoes, but can change all the time. That's a cool part. Then you're gonna grab like approximately six finger long. Okay, that's gonna be the legs. So you make a loop, like three finger loop, pinch twist, two finger pinch twist, six finger bubble. Then you're gonna make a two finger bubble pinch twist. Then you're gonna make four finger bubble or less. And then pinch twist, two finger bubble pinch twist. You're gonna go back to the pinch twist. Yes, go back to the other pinch twist with the same size of bubble. Now from here, from here you wanna squish the air and I recommend you to do that, a squish it, okay? Now, and then go down, six finger long. And then bubble, twist, and then pinch twist. Now, here's the moment that you decide. You wanna have these two together, you can always grab um, a bubble from here and connect it, but it's not gonna be necessary because soon there's gonna be balloons here and that's gonna make the effect to make the legs just straight. So you don't have to connect it. So let's see how we do it this way. We just take the air out, tie it, and pass it around. Now, we are with the pants. If you wanna do this in another moment, so you have pants. Don't forget about the legs. It's gonna close in a moment with the pressure of more bubbles. Now, let's go with another balloon. It's gonna be purple to 60, but at the end, remember, all these balloons are black, okay? We're gonna pretend here. So you have six finger long. Now, from here, you're gonna go up to what is gonna be the jacket. So you're gonna make first the arm. So it's gonna be two finger bubble pinch twist, another two finger bubble pinch twist. That's what you have. Then you're gonna bend it as an arm. So I like to do this. What is this? It's approximately three finger long and three finger long. And then you twist it. Okay, then you're gonna make pinch twist and you can make another pinch twist. So you have like a, a bone, <laughs> the shape of the bone, but bend it a little bit, okay? <laughs> okay, then you're gonna go and with four finger bubble and then two finger bubble pinch twist another two finger bubble pinch twist remember all this is gonna be pretend it's black then we're gonna go down okay and down does mean four finger bubble and you're gonna connect it to this pinch twist now then you're gonna go up four finger bubble then from here and this is the tricky part but from here you're going to um, squish the air. But look, you're almost there. So you have to squish the air because you here you better have only a line. So if you don't have enough, that's mean probably you better leave like um, eight finger tail instead of a six finger tail for this balloon. But you can always try, but I'm gonna just go squish the air and then I just know I just need four finger bubble down and then four finger bubble up. So I'm gonna start making a small hole. And look, I, I made a hole, it's gonna lose it slowly, so let's talk fast, Cecilia. But you can always put the palm of your hand, it's gonna be kind of helping not to, you know, take the air all the way up. But I can also go slow. So I'm gonna squeeze the air because that's gonna be a tree little tree. You feel the air is moving fast. So that's the squeeze the air. When you have a squish in the air, you pass it to the other side. The down line of squishing the air is important, but also it's a trick to pass from one side to the other one without noticing much. So you go in there, the line is squishing the air there. Let's go down to the pinch twist and then go up with four finger bubble and 
that's it now you will say oh Cecilia but you forgot the other arm it's okay that's what I'm saying you're gonna need more balloons you're gonna need more balloons so I'm gonna just show you what we have so far all these balloons are black but I'm playing with different colors don't forget that let's go with a third balloon black you know 260 <laughs> okay then this is that moment that you decide you can make one arm or save that mo that part to the end or i'm gonna do it right now so what i'm gonna do is this balloon is inflated six finger tail but let's see if it's not a good idea two finger bubble pinch twist another two finger bubble pinch twist it's also a black balloon remember you bend it and you make here another arm and then twist it then from here you cut you don't need this no yes you need it so you tie them and make sure this part you you have already the arm you see now let's keep going one moment i have to pick up my balloon oh my goodness <laughs> there you go now with this piece that is black to 60 we're gonna make the trick for the tunic what is the trick it's just attached here in one of a pinch twist we'll attach it and we're gonna make a loop like it's approximately three finger loop so as long as you want to make the loop okay the finger loop pim, 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 pim. that's gonna help to bring that legs you see it's straight it's not that open the legs now the back so you have to turn this to the back you decide at this moment what is your back and then you start from the back you see you're gonna make like waving a little bit so waving a little bit to make it more like a skirt you know the back waving squish and waving so it's soft and squishable but that's gonna keep the shape down you see and then you pass to the other pinch twist i'm showing you the back and then we're gonna make another three or four finger bubble loop and if you have balloons, you still have balloons, why not go from this part all the way again to the other side? So your back is also more wavy. You see? So then from here, you can also end with a bubble if you don't want to pop it. Or with just whatever it is there, you just grab it and play with that shape. So because it's soft and squishable, you're going to be able to make this and because it's all black what you see here in a moment i'm going to show you what you see here is actually i'm gonna just what you see here and look at this part is cool you are gonna see in black looking like this pretty much now you can always um you know use it for different characters so it's all white it's more like a doctor okay let's keep going <laughs> we can start attaching the arm so you can use a 260 entire balloon but because i'm frugal i don't want to you know lose an entire balloon 260 and i have lots of scrap of 260 and you can do the same you just have to grab a balloon scrap make a little loop like two finger loop and make a two finger bubble pinch twist then cut leaving a tip and that is what you understand it what is going to be representing one hand easy simple two finger loop two finger bubble pinch twist and attach it in one of those arms like that pass it around you can um in a moment make it better but there is one hand the other hand i have it ready it's the same idea so Let's save some time. I know I'm so happy and it makes me feel so proud that your comment says, you know, you learned a lot from this channel. And it's been this channel for three years almost. And I'm so proud, you know, and happy that you are learning. And so this, this is what you have so far. Okay. Now, what else here? Well, we can go with what is going to be the... So he has his jacket and this part, this shirt, you know, his blues, his t-shirt, okay? And that's going to be gray, yeah? Let's play with gray because I have this left over from the other Harry Potter. And you can do this now or first a little bit of white. That is the real one, white. Another balloon scrap bag. 
and this is a coupon that is white here because then with markers you can uh, paint a little bit of uh, what is that the tie, right? So you just pass it, and these are for instance the same size as this one, four finger bubble. So you just play with four finger bubble and pass it around. The rest you cut it, pass it around, hide it, or just pass it around a couple of times, and I think it's gonna be black. You have this white. Now the gray, the idea is you just need four finger bubble. Now, if you wanna be cover this part, you have to play with a black in the case. So double, if you imagine, okay? So I have four finger bubble. And then if you make another four finger black bubble, but this one black, and it's possible, I just kind of like, I hope you understand, but sometimes I feel like, why not, Cecilia? Take your time, make this video insanely long. We're gonna pretend this is black, okay? Oh, wait a minute. So this is black and this is gray, the color. You tie it together and you just measure in both four finger bubble and this one too, four finger bubble, twist and tie it and cut the rest, leaving a tip. That I recommend you to leave a tip because that's gonna touch it with the head in a moment. So you tie it. And you have this, connections in both eyes. This is black, we're gonna pretend it's black, and you're gonna just put the black balloon in the back, and in the front, it's gonna be the gray. That way, when people see in the back, it's gonna be all black, got it? All black. Now, all those long teeth, uh, we, I told you to let, you just grab one in the top, and the other one in the bottom, you can always segregate um, things, having the one teeth, and pass it in between the legs. Also, there is another string that we pass. If it's not with the pressure, it's gonna be fine. You just pull in between the pants <laughs> and pull and leave it there. It's gonna be totally fine. Don't worry. I, I, you can also pass it around. That's gonna be okay. Lots of you already know this technique. So, there you go. You have that body. Now, Lip details. What is the details? Those balloons. So, um, let me see what I have. I told you I'm gonna try first, just blowing air of 260 and see the difference. I thought that I took it out. So let's go with red and yellow. I'm using 260 because most of you already have 260 balloons. So that's why I wanna go and play with that idea and see because with that this one, the first one I played with 160s. But let's see what happened with 260 when we made this. So I'm gonna pop. Air, phew, tied it. And the same the other side, puff, tied it. You can also puff at the same time and tied it. That's good. Good for you. <laughs> and when you have that, you just need to look, play with the idea of pass this. This is the back, pass it around, pass it around, go back to the back and tie it. You see? And you can tie it and then accommodate it, so that's fine. Tie it and then cut it. I have a super awesome cut it. I love my color. Okay, and you have something like that. It looks kind of messy, but then you can always fix it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna. It's always better if you look at your design and play and find the best way to accommodate things. The pressure always is gonna help uh, in between balloons too keep things better so the this is how it's looking look at that look at that so cool right so cool this part you can always hide it in just hide it push and hide it that's fine it's okay you hide it push okay you are here now you we still have these left over so again you can pop here and tie it and now you just have to do the same part up of the gray. So you have this, and then you just have to do this on the top here. You see? Just right there. You can pass it from this pinch twist to the other pinch twist. Or just the same idea we did. Go around all this and go around all the other side and tighten. You know, whatever, it's easier for you, okay? Because you have to find what is easier for you. So, and that's what I'm doing. And with 
this you will have another look because it's not like you need to go all around everything so now if this happened like you tie it all and then it disappears here you can always pull it back because for me at least the most important thing is the front don't you think uh i'm going to compromise i don't know so you can always accommodate that it's you know it's just right now i'm just trying to keep going so let me see let me see Okay. I'm just complicated, but it's okay. I just have to make sure this goes here and then this one goes around. So you have something like that. Okay? Perfect. Let's keep going. Okay, so you are here, you have here this connection. Two, 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 two. It's all black. This keep blue white, this keep gray, this keep the same colors, yellow and red so the red is all black now i will blush the, the hands now let's go we have the body some symbols i told you this is sharpie time that you can be better than me make a symbol i think this is better look at that you know you have to decide which one do you prefer <laughs> if you can have the sticker and you know print it and then make it into a sticker great if it's not you just grab make something like this put it in one side another thing you can do it's the tie that because it's white in here that's awesome you can just make a diamond all the way like this and then pew pew you just make that in the center it's going to be yellow and the, at the sides it's going to be red so and then yellow sharpie time okay that's it look it's gonna be Harry Potter. Now we have Harry Potter body. Let's go with the head. Yeah, you think it's the same that this video is taking forever? Yeah, it's taking forever because I wanna go detail by detail. And I think you like that. I think all of you, you know, followers that I love it, there's more than 7,000 followers. Can you believe that? So don't forget, share it. Share it with all the balloon twists and all the people that you think, hmm, if they love balloons, they wanna play with balloons, show them this channel. Um, what else we're gonna do? Pop, 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 the head. So for the head, you need to have a blush quickly. It's gonna make things much easier and faster. But a lot of you, and it's fine, because I started that way, doesn't have quick links. So what we have is a round, five inch round, peach, blush, you know, skin color, for the color, you know, this guy, it's Harry Potter. He's white. So it's a five inch round, uh, this one is Decomex. So for this one, I think I use Betalatex or Qualatex. So it's a little bit of difference, but it's okay. It's okay. Then we're going to start with this trick that is just put the balloon all the way like this. So I just put it whatever was inside, now it's in outside. It's gonna be for a moment. Grab a balloon scrap or 260 or whatever you have left over of your 260 blush. And you decide to use the end with a little bubble there at the end. Or just can be the way I do it. It's a very one finger bubble, pinch twist, and that's gonna be my nose. And I can tie it many times, like I'm saying three times, it's gonna be good. Go oh, one more, because you need a chunky piece to grab from the outside so you will see you're gonna cut this and you have this this is the chunky part it's gonna be easy to handle and then twist but this thing you're gonna put it inside your five inch round blush put it inside now remember we fold it right that this is the outside now we're gonna inflate it that way we're gonna inflate it that way all the way but a little bit soft Tied it but halfway, so you tied it halfway and leave it there because we're gonna twist it, we're gonna untie it in a moment. Leave it there, define hmm, the nose right here, approximately. So then you grab your balloon, oh man, and you have it there. I feel it the pinch twist, and look for the chunky part, I it's right here. And you find oh, that's the center, that's the head. I like it, I like to go a little bit higher, a little bit higher, only because then I know I think it's gonna be better. So let's see. 
you twist it that chunky part and then grab another balloon scrap and it seems like i have lots of these ones so a little scrap look how i hold it pull and pass it around okay ba -ba -da -ba -da -pam. Pam. Pam, pam, pam. tighten a couple times and then make sure you cut all the eggs there you go this is the inside of the balloon so now we're gonna untie it lose the air and go back where how the balloon came but this time you automatically will have attached what is going to be the nose of the balloon now we need another point here if you have a quick link great but if it's not we are going to use the racing bin what is the racing bin it's a balloon scrap you tie two or three times okay you put it, put it inside if you don't know please check my other videos <laughs> Okay, because it takes time to that to repeat the other thing. Just take on that. Take the other videos. Then you have this. Look, from here, because it's a round balloon, you can always kind of make it, shape you want it, and you decide if you want to use it like this or like this. At the end, it's up to you, but I'm going to go like this. Tie it, inflate it approximately, you know, that's. Look, this is my hand, a little bit bigger. It's okay. Now you're gonna grab here this side. The, well, it's um, the other side for the quick link. We're gonna make it. So you grab what we put inside the racing bin and twist. And then we're gonna use a balloon scrap or if you are already more um, advanced, you can just grab and have ready your 260 brown inflated six finger tail and attach it right here so with the racing beam pass it around and then make a two finger bubble pinch twist secure that it can come and twist it's okay but from here what you're gonna do is you grab the head you're gonna go down and grab the nozzle and you can use your chest in order to don't let this and bubble and twist but if it can't twist it's okay it's not a big deal how long is that bubble? It's approximately eight finger long or nine, nine finger long. So it depends how much you know you have here. Then you squeeze, you twist back, and that's gonna secure everything. Then from here, we're gonna do this cool technique to make a hair for men, probably, but it can work later for women. I don't know. You're gonna go down. You're gonna look at the design. Okay, right here in the middle. That's approximately eight finger long. Can you make it um then my one finger bubble seven finger long at least and then go up with up with the same size or shoulder and we, we need enough to make this side too so i'm just kind of playing things doesn't have to be perfect i want to make sure this gonna last and then whatever you have left over here you just finish with that one finger bubble and that one finger bubble is gonna go straight look straight to the pinch twist so you have this you see so that way you just use only one balloon to 60 okay now these bubbles can get and twist but it's gonna be a pinch twist so it's okay okay how we're gonna attach and this is the cool part you see you use your brain and you think how is this gonna be attached here the ears oh let's do that so now you're gonna grab a balloon to 60 balloon scrap but something more than eight finger long scrap was gonna work so i'm gonna just use this one just in case um and you just need here to make two finger bubble that's gonna be one ear pinch twist and look at this cool technique we made it many times you squeeze the air squeeze the air pull, so there's no air and then you're gonna grab here another two finger bubble pinch twist cut tie this now this doesn't have to be that long but i made it this way you see so this is approximately like a four finger long without the stretching now you're gonna grab pinch twist and then pass it this around and then grab and then rest and pull all the way the other side and you can pull harder so Make sure you have this and you pull harder. And now you're gonna bring the other side. Pinch twist here. Whatever is there, 
and that's gonna be how you make your heads now you can always make this longer tighter but this is the idea okay look now what else here we're gonna go with a 160 brown if it's you know by preference or you we talk about the colors you see you decide black it's up to you this is a 160 so what i did here is when you tied it and i'm gonna use this one because when you tied it tied it leaving a tip that's gonna be better that way you attach the tip on one side that is the side that is going to be the scar so the scar is going to be in this side but you're going to just grab one side approximately like here in the middle of this bubble approximately and then you're going to pull and pass it around here so that's what is the long tip now i noticed this is not opening you can always grab this part the string if it's too long and pass it all the way down that's going to help you with this piece and that's another thing so you can always play just to make some pressure down that's going to help them. okay you can always do that what i did is that string that is connecting the ears kind of like bothering me because it's opening i think you don't need to leave so much space in between that pinch twist blush three finger i think that's going to be good enough and just secure things there and then you are here so from here you just go and measure what until it's here up to the pinch twist then you go down all the way to what is the pinch twist here the pinch twist the other side let me show you because i know cecilia you're forgetting to show to the camera cecilia so i just went here half then went here to the pinch twist and then went all the way to the ear and then I'm gonna go in between, squeeze the air, and go all the way up. Squeeze the air, and then go all the way up. And whatever is left over, you just have to squeeze the air and go in between this bubble, between, and that is gonna be bad. This is the moment that you say, stop, sharp it time before it's too hard to do all the drawing. So keep it there for a moment, you have space, and let's make the sharp time. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> now let's make that face. And you can use a stickers, great. But if it's not, this is the way I do it. That's the one that you copy, you know. So there you go. So you just look at the face, face to face. Bend and bend. You have the black dots. Then I recommend you to go with a circle of what is going to be the glasses. I think that's going to be better. So I'm going to go all the way around and the other side the same. So that might be hard, but it's not impossible. Go down and there you go. Then you just in between, grab it on top of the nose. Pew, pew, pew. And then what you can do is the sides. Okay. Then you have no this guy is gonna have blue eyes but on top is gonna have a little bit like this you see cover it so this part too okay something like that then the eyebrows and he's gonna have a scar so the scar is like a pew, pew, pew. what is that you know so you kind of have to make it the way you prefer, but I'm just gonna make it like this. I know it's different, but you can make it like that, okay? You can make it always more closer, but that's how I'm gonna do it, okay? Maybe a little bit more to this side, you decide. I went all crazy and I did it there. Should I fix it? It's impossible, man. Oh, let's try the wipes. Okay, I heard one comment of you um subscribers saying about the wipes so baby wipes but i don't have baby wipes here man. but with baby wipes you can delete this and then you put it in the way correct okay <laughs> you're gonna do it okay so then we're here uh you can just go with um pink make a smiley face and also if you want some cheeks easy simple then some blue, light blue. I don't know what the color of eyes is. This guy, brown. You can go ahead with brown. I'm just playing with blue. And just pass it around. 
and uh, so run the rest and let's play this way this time the rest is gonna be white yeah so let's go with white and let's see and then in the center a little bit more of white there we go we're gonna keep it that way that's gonna be the ice now blow make it dry and then we're gonna go down and finish it in the middle here and you will see let's keep a moment that is getting dry <laughs> and while i'm cut make sure i shut all my sharpies so then they don't get dry see now what i'm it's almost there right well almost there now i think it's right yeah now let's see you just measure approximately four finger long here so up and squish it it's gonna be easier and then when you cut this leave a long tip yeah, a long tip. This is balloon scrap, save it, and this leave a long tip, and that's gonna be it's gonna pass through here all the way, all the way holding on, and it can also be all the way here if you want, all the way pull and pass all the way down. You decide, you decide what you want to do with this. I just want this to help you know the design. So you put it in here if you want, or if you can put it all the way. Whatever you prefer. Just gonna pass it around a couple of times and leave it there. Okay? So look how it's looking. Okay, now accommodate the other ears here. You can always push things. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have the ears um, where you want it to be. And so you can always um, mold the things and you have this. You like it? I like it. Now, ooh, and we have the body, ooh, and we just tied it. How cool is that? Remember, if you don't have time, you just make the head and just the rest, put it in a bracelet and a headband or make a more simple body. It's up to you, but look at how cute it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Harry Potter mix match, <laughs> rainbow colors. This is the original, well, the, well, it's the, you know, the colors. Uh, what else here? The broom, because also one request, and I like it, the broom. Let's go with the broom. This is what I represented the broom. Look, it's kind of like, like, like that, and it's fine. That's the, that's the detail I wanted. So let's do that. You will need a balloon 160 brown, mocha brown, or if you have another color like golden roll, that's fine. But let's go with mocha brown. It's around six finger tail. You need to make something like that. Measure six finger long, and then another six finger long. And then the next one, make it a little bit longer. A little bit longer, right? Seven. But you're gonna pass it through, even though it's seven. And then you're gonna make another seven or even longer. So that's gonna make that shape, you know, and, and and you know different sizes and when you are up because that was one two one two and one more okay so we can also go one more time so that is going to be the bottom and then here one more time make it another even longer okay and then pass it around i mean you can grab all that and pass this around so we're going to uh, kind of like something like five finger long you can always bend and twist it we just want different shapes and this is the effect you can give different shapes you want it to be even lower it's an effect you see and with all these leftover i found this trick and i think it's cool two or three finger bubble close another two or three finger bubble and twist it together two or three finger bubble another two or three finger bubble twist it together another two or three finger bubble another two or three finger bubble and twist it together i'm gonna show you what i'm doing the rest you Lose the air, pew, 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 pass it around, secure everything, pew, 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 pew. you have this, the top, the bottom, now, gray, 160, if you don't have a gray 160, go with 260, gray, 
or black or you know any color you think is gonna work dark and i remember i have one man i totally remember i use oh it's here you see it's like never mind it's playing tricks look you have this to just style it this is the the other half of what i use here for the entire 160. so just pass it around here trying to pass it very 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 tight there so it's very well connected and you can make this if you put a balloon in here so that's going to be a 160 this is the other half of the other broom that i, I just made and you're going to make something like this look three finger bubble one finger bubble pinch twist and then squish and make sure this is going to go around just pass it around so like what you do for the snowman the sky and with some pressure and there you go and then finish with another three or four finger long cut tight you can always cut the little tips so it looks better and when you are going to add it into your design make sure you cannot look for the best angle that people can see the little bow that it was tying there and this part i like to make it like this look a little a little quicker yeah a little quicker just bend it there it's gonna give it some heat and you have something like that good you can always put it back but it's something like that that's what is going to represent the broom and you can always attach it so all that attach it is totally a broom for this guy how to attach easy peasy you have a lot of pinch twists just pass it around so i'm gonna go and pass it around one of the trolls and then the rest you can cut it until you find okay this is the as long as i want cut side and that's it you can always cut the excess here and this is the designs ladies and gentlemen i hope you like it i love it and i'm so happy to share it with you this is a very cool way to make harry potter it's a long video but i think it's worth it right <laughs> don't you think well I know the other request is the owl but probably that's gonna be for another time only because it's today's tutorial and i don't know how it's gonna to be tomorrow i never you know kind of like know exactly what's gonna happen because i have all the things in life to do <laughs> but i am very proud i've been making cool videos lately you know one day well another day and day 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 so that's awesome tell me in the comments do you like it if you make it share it and tag me please don't forget another important thing and if you are already here at uh, listen very important if you want to contact me that in a place that is not youtube please go to instagram instagram is the place that i love be uh, in touch with other balloon twisters facebook i leave it more for my clients for my community where i live that is cheyenne wyoming so i have their my, my clients I don't want to get confused with you know clients and and friends and other balloon twisters so that's why for me instagram it's the place for all balloon twisters to chat to share pictures to be tagged and send messages also on youtube i always see all your messages and your comments um another way to make this channel much better i appreciate your comments your likes that you are subscribed to this channel that helps but also I have a pen a Benmo account, I have a PayPal account that you can donate money. That it's a, something that I motivates me and helps a lot because you know at the end it's also a good way, you know, to be recognized and feel like yes, you see, I can get more balloons, more equipment, you know, it makes me feel good. Um another way is on the description of all my videos, you will find there my address and also an Amazon wish list that you can visit and see other ideas that I found and uh, that it will be great to have in this balloon room. But also for yourself, you can see ideas and say, oh, this is cool. But if you already have an advanced balloon twister, you have more knowledge and you think, oh, Cecilia, you know, you should have this. You can always please donate it, uh, send it to my address. I will be very happy to open it in front of all of you and share, you know, share everything as possible. Um, yes just check out the description I, you know balloon dog apparel let's see what happens if you buy something from there it's gonna help me that, that's cool uh if you do it let me know you know i will be happy also to know um use my coupon code it's cecilia lady balloons and that's all thank you so much have a wonderful day and see you in the next video bye
One moment. Let's make it super long. Hey, Tom, I hope you're here. I hope you are here watching this. Tom McNulty. I'm going to show you how, uh, and all of you, how I make my balloons round. Uh, I'm going to just need, um, like, a split. Split a balloon. So, you're looking for rounds. Um, let's see. Yellow is going to work. Or what color is better that you can see? Cecilia, take. There you go. This is a round. It's a, imagine it's white. Imagine it's uh, the color you need. But this is a five inch round. And how to split it in half. Look, if you play it all the way like this, it's going to be very hard if it's not impossible to split it in half. So you always have to inflate it. Inflate it all the way. It's going to be easier. When you underinflate it, it's going to be more flexible. And you inflate it and try to put it inside the palm of your hand. If it's inside here, I think it's going to work. And I know that's even smaller, it's even better because they stretch, um, but not that much. So you have to be gentle, put it inside, smaller than the palm of your hand, and then you tie it, but tie it, I think it's better closer. So you have this round shape. Now, remember, it's a balloon, uh, it can pop, but let's see what happens, you know? You can always grab, look, I do this, okay? And I can try to close it. If you can close it, you're very close to be able to twist it. And when you twist, look, one side, so the nozzle is going this side, you twist, you kind of start regulating the air. If you want a perfect, you know, both sides the same, you regulate the air. And, and that's the moment. Because if you start, and then you see, oh, wait, 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 it's going to be one eye bigger than the other, one bubble bigger. No, you regulate the air. Okay? until you find what you really want. You just make a twist. Oh, I like this. I like it. So now you start twisting. And to secure thing, you twist also the other side. And to secure thing, you can always pull this and pass it around. That can be a way to secure. Okay, you can twist it more if you want, but there you go. Now, never trust that much. So make sure you have it here like this for a moment, but something is gonna be holding in a moment here. If you want this to last longer okay so this is the way i hope you understood now i'm leaving ciao ciao